Hi, welcome to The Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff The Gainsplainer and today I'm Gainsplaining Pioneer Days. Pioneer Days is a 2-4 player game by Tasty Minstrel Games. It plays in approximately 45 minutes an hour, hour 15, somewhere around there, uh, depending on the player count. It is a dice drafting game in which you're trying to move your uh, caravan, probably the best word for it, from one side of New York to the other in the old-timey pioneer days of America. During your travels, you'll pick up townsfolk who will come with you for the ride. Uh, you'll pick up other items. You'll be able to go and buy equipment. Uh, you'll be able to go prospecting and get yourself some gold. There are four rounds total in the game. At the end of each of those rounds, you'll have a chance to fulfill the needs of one of the townships that is coming up at the end of your week of journey. Uh, those townships will trade, say, medicine or whatever product or good that you happen to have and they specifically want stuff so you can work towards getting those bits. Uh, they'll trade them for favours which yeah, equal victory points in the end. You will also get points for every cow that you have when you get to the end of a week and they will all add up. There's not a heap of points in those cows but they'll get there eventually. Uh, this, I actually really enjoyed this game. This is a dice drafting game. It's got that magic word, dice. Do I love it or do I hate it? I don't know. This one I quite like. It's dice drafting, so you're rolling the dice and then you're making a decision about which of those dice that have been rolled do you wish to use. Now, the beautiful thing about this game, the, the, the really cool little element that's added into this dice drafting system is that there's one too many dice for any for everyone to draft. So there's going to be one left over. That one left over, depending on its colour, will cause a marker to move forward on its track. There are five different coloured dice, there are four different tracks. Each of those tracks only has a few spaces and when its marker gets to the end then something bad is going to happen to everyone at the table. And so what you end up doing is you're looking at the dice that are available and going I really want to do that action but if I do that action this die is going to be left over and when this die is left over that track is going to get to the, that marker sorry, is going to get to the end of that track. And when that happens, something bad is going to happen to all of us. I'm not prepared for that to happen. So, I want to not take this die, I need to take that one instead, so that that bad thing doesn't happen to everyone. Or, if I leave that die behind, that bad thing's going to happen to everyone, I've got this cool card that allows me to get extra stuff whenever that bad thing happens, I'm going to force that event to happen. Those thoughts are what actually makes this game slightly more unique than the other dice drafting games I've come across. On top of that, with the die roll, you choose one of the dice. You can pay to change the side of the dice if you don't like it. So that's kind of cool. It mitigates that issue of I really need this to happen but I can't make it happen because the dice aren't going to allow it. Once you choose which die to take, you have three options. You take money, you take the action of whatever's showing on that die, or you take the card, the townsfolk card that's seen below, it, which will give you bonuses. It might be a one-off bonus, it might be an ongoing bonus. And on the bottom of those cards are some special scoring things. And so it gives you things to work towards towards the end of the game if you're able to keep that card alive. One of the disasters is that your townsfolk will die unless you have medicine for them. How do you get medicine? By rolling the die that gives you medicine. There's this little intricate weave of stuff that's going on that's going to get you to the end, but you're going to come up against calamities. And then when you get to the end of a week, you've got to decide, oh, do I want to give up that medicine I've got for the town to get favours or do I want to hang on to it because I can see that disaster coming up. There's some really, really good decision. It's not a heavy game. It's a straightforward, fairly easy teach, fairly easy play, but with some good decision. The other element that I really like on this game is that there's a lot of replayability because you're only using a small number of the cards each time. And so those towns that are coming up at the end, you only use a handful of them. There's a, there's a deck that you're going to be able to use, so you're not going to get the same ones each time. The townsfolk, there are a whole bunch of different decks and I think there's about five maybe um, and you're only going to use two of those decks in any one game and within those two decks that you're going to use you're probably not going to get through the entire deck so what you end up doing is you've got these different combinations of townsfolk people that you can use and, and you're not going to see them all in every any one game so you could then play it again with just leaving those cards aside so you get different ones coming through again. I think that's a really good element to add to any game, that replayability, not having the same cards hitting you every single time. Uh, I really like that, I really appreciate that. Uh, so please, go on, watch my gameplays and gameplays and get, get a feel for it. This is a fresh game, it came out 
late in 2017. Uh, I believe it was an Essen release. It's relatively new to the market. If you can get your hands on it, go and check it out. Um, may I say, I need to thank Advent Games in Australia for providing this game for me. Uh, they've started to lend me a few games to be able to do the, the my videos, so I don't have to keep buying them. So thank you, Advent Games. Please, if you're in Australia and need to buy some games, go and check them out. I'll put a link below, advent.com.au. Uh, I believe is the is the website, but I'll put a link in the in the notes below. So I hope this helps you get pioneer days to the table. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you wish to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email at thegamesplanner at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplanner to keep up to date with the games that I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.